What is up, you guys? Your boy Bullet Game back here doing another video for you guys today. I'm back here doing live commentary, but I'm not gonna sit here and keep making a five minute video. I can do the whole game. I basically just want to talk about um today was Iron Banner really worth getting to rank five or rank four when the the, the stuff there wasn't even really worth it. <clears throat> for example, um I did a video on a Paul Trap was Scorby's Revenge or Sorry's Revenge, whatever this bullshit is called, and. Uh, it, it was rank five. Um, I think that was the first time it ever being sold. Like I said, I am a Paul Shriver guy, so I brought it. And my my basic opinion was, was it fucking? It wasn't even worth it. I mean, the stats was not that good. They could have uh, fixed the stats just a little bit, um, but really they didn't. Um, uh, I said the impact was very low. <clears throat> it really didn't have that. And I, I I'm sorry, guys. You know, you gotta know. I can't do a lot of commentary and talk at the same time. But basically, what I'm saying is. The weapons wasn't that good. Um, people are looking for favorites live from the drop. I have not yet seen anybody get favorites live from the drop. I have only seen <clears throat> uh, Persians fire. That's a fusion rifle we sold last time. And the Sky Rifles, Gilligan's Demise, and Ragus, the, the uh, Rocket Launcher, Ragus' Fury. And that's basically the only one I have seen that's actually that's actually worth it. Hold on, give me some pop his ass real quick. God damn it, this shit jumped too fucking much. He's dying away. <laughs> and uh, like I said, people are looking for the guns, and like I said, it's not worth it. <clears throat> and then you look at the gear; the gear not even level light forty two. It's still light level thirty six. It, it, it's a new DLC bungee. I mean, at least updated for us. At least updated for. I'm doing shitty right now. Excuse me. I just don't do this bad. But when I'm talking and doing it at the same time, it's very difficult to focus. <clears throat> and like I said, the, the gear is not worth it. Like unless you're still low level, and then the other gun, Jogan's Hammer, is not even fucking worth it. Um, I say if you got the first one, that's probably either worth it because you can get uh, Phil Scott on it. That's the only one worth it, really, in my, in my opinion, to be honest with you. <clears throat> simply because it only holds fucking, you can only, you can hold two, I mean, 26. 26 bullets right now. And 36 in general, that's really... That's my opinion. That's ass. That's I'd rather rock the BTRD. That whole is better impact, possibly better range. Like I said, I haven't used it yet. Uh, people use it against me. <clears throat> it's also pretty good. That's probably better than the fucking Iron Banner weapon. Now I will say this. Like I said, I came late. I didn't get the original Jogan's Hammer. Um, I really can get the perks I wanted, and you the perks never change. If you guys saw my um um uh the Scott, uh, Paul Shopper review. The per my opinion, the, my purse never changed in the middle. Because I'm really looking for Phil Scout. Didn't get it. <clears throat> no, bullshit. So, it was basically pointless because I only got, I think I got kills with this. Increases the next damage buff. And I forgot what the other one was. So, it was really difficult for me to even do that. And I got my ass shotgun to death. And I will say this on the other hand. Power advantages is, is, is also enabled. Um... You used to play with friends, you used to put the emblem on, and have a lot of fun, and I think that's the best part about it, and that's probably the only reason why I'll probably do it, just to play with friends and get a chance to actually test it out. It's pretty, I mean, it, it's worth it, but as far as the weapons and gear, nah, I mean, you probably can't hear about the regular Crucible. I mean, you still gonna get hit by fucking throwing the shit, you guys, I mean, hey. But that's basically it for you guys with the video today, um, oh, I'm sorry, that's in my throat. Don't say no gay shit in the comment section, man. Um... You guys want to continue to do videos like these or talk about random stuff with Destiny and Bungie and all that stuff. I would love to do that. Like I said, um, my opinion, Iron Banner wasn't worth it this year. Um, last one was worth it because they had an FD Spear. And Timber's Lash, I should have brought FD Spear, but at the time, I wasn't no damn sniper. And I really couldn't really, I wouldn't really want that, that person to actually do that shit. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time.